So let's start from here, right? Node.js. What is Node.js? So Node.js is an open source cross platform JavaScript runtime environment. JavaScript runtime environment. So Node.js is not a programming language, okay? It is just the environment or place where JavaScript code can run, right? How that happens, we just we're gonna talk about that. So Node.js allow developer to run JavaScript code outside of web browser, right? Outside of web browser means inside server or any computer, right? So my computer has a window program, Microsoft Office or any other program, Photoshop. Similarly, I, I install the Node.js and because of Node.js, I'm allowed to run you know basically i am allowed to run javascript program that's all the node.js see before right the node.js uh, sorry javascript was built for browser and for chrome browser there is something called v8 javascript engine v8 right it's just called v8 javascript engine so this engine converts our code the code we write right into the machine code you know like binary code right zero and one and all that okay so the people from the i mean the company right i don't know which company but some of the engineers decided to just use that engine right in the computer and they created node.js using the v8 engine they just extract the v8 engine so that you can run javascript code and plus they add some additional features on the top okay which you cannot do in the browser, right? But you can do it in the computer, in your local machine, or in the server, right? So uh, that becomes Node.js. So you can run JavaScript plus additional things you can do in your computer now, like creating a server, you know, creating com command line uh, integration, you know, like you can install other so software and all that. You, you can create any kind of software using Node.js now. Because it has almost all the features, right? Like the other developed programming language, C, Python, or any other programming language. Similar to that, right? You can create any program, uh, any programs in Node.js. So there is a uh, so if for Node.js, right? See, the Node.js was alone for a long time, but now there is other competitor you can call it burn or i believe there is one more one or two more you know so burn is the like real competitor for the node.js okay it's still a new language but you know it runs javascript in a similar to node.js right but we stick to the node.js right now we're not going to burn or any i have even never looked at burn but just for information okay so what we will learn and focus in the back end right what we will learn and focus in back in how to create HTTP server. See, what you're gonna after this class, right? What you will do is I, I will urge you guys to uh, let's do this uh, Node.js www3, right? Just to go through, right? Uh, read later, not now, but later we can do that. So I did not add, but here, right? Look at Node.js, just read through this. Up to here, okay. The few things you can understand, right? Uh, this is very important. I mean, good information. I was just looking right earlier, so you can read through this only for Node.js, not MySQL, not the MongoDB right now. Okay? Only Node.js. You can do that. Maybe thirty minutes quickly read through that, right? One hour, and we will maybe in the future, right? Sometimes we will go through this also, but right now we, we don't need. Okay, we do not require that. All right. What we're gonna talk about is only HTTP module, okay? What is module and HTTP module, right, for our work, okay? So it will be better if you just give a readings and try to understand a little bit, that will be fine. So I will just send this uh, link to the chat, okay? All right, so let's continue. 
what our goal is to understand http server right so what is http server is the hyper transfer uh, hyper transfer what is that http right i mean protocol but i even i forgot okay let me say here uh, x uh, real world i put the definition what is http full form guys who remember anyone hyper transfer protocol right yeah that is all hyper text sorry i missed this one hyper text transfer protocol right so this is a protocol which allow you to like come to do the communication right you can send some data to the server okay you can receive data from the server so both way right you can send something you can receive something for that purpose we have http right? uh, this is the object in node.js and using that object you're going to create the server and from that server you can do the communication okay so there is a library right called express which we're going to use to create http server okay we're not going to use see node.js has the same functionality but it has much more complex way of doing things right a lot of code you have to write for very simple thing so they created the library called express right express is the uh, node.js library used for creating a server you know just to handle this part right okay so let's uh, see how we can do all that but before we start creating server or do anything right let's understand the example of hospital okay or about a doctor let's talk about a doctor right who is a doctor now the person right who went to the uh, college or university for many years and developed the skill to treat people correct so now the functionality of the doctor is to treat people right so once doctor has completed his course now he will go home and you know just stay in the house right then maybe family member somebody gets sick you know they can just call the doctor i mean he has the doctor in the house they can you know ask for help doctor know what to do right they will do some checkups and give some medicine correct or maybe ask the patient to go and buy some medicine from the chemist right okay so that is one way doctor can treat the within the house within the home right but what doctor will do to make money right so he has to expose his skill now expose his skill to the outer world correct so maybe he gonna start the clinic right and then he gonna have the address of his clinic address so let's say uh doctor maybe john right in the johannesburg and in street 34 somewhere okay and house number or building flat number here is clinic so people there is the address of the doctor people can go and visit him right now when you go to see the doctor what you see there uh, you, you're gonna have a waiting area right people can just wait in the line and doctor can see one person at a time so it's like a thread of javascript remember javascript can only run one code at a time right so when that code is done then doctor can call another person right similarly sometimes you have async code you know for example doctor just finished checking one one patient and then doctor can ask him to go and see the maybe radiologist for x-ray or maybe ask him to go and get the medicine from the chemist and come back again so while that patient is gone you know doctor can call the another patient correct but you know because of in our javascript we have only one call stack you can run only one function at a time just remember that so this is the situation right now the doctor is exposed to the world he has the address and people can come and visit him right to that address similarly javascript work so now right one of you have written the code let's say you created chat gpt okay somebody chat created the chat gpt now if chat gpt will stay within your computer right 
how are you gonna make money so you have to expose that right expose to the everyone so everyone can go online open chat gpt and do some search right exposing okay that is important right you created you create the functionality and then you expose to the world so that is the job of http right to expose like to create the communication medium right where the everyone can see your product or your skill or whatever functionality you can ex you want to expose right so fine so we get the important thing is to expose you're going to need address right address so that is all here right i mean just read through that so let's look at this uh, this one of the function right i mean you all aware of this calculate sum uh, this function going to take one parameter the number n then inside the function right you have the variable answer with zero value then you have a loop the loop will run n times and from one to n times right so you have one two three if n is five it will run five times one two three four five i equal to n right every time you're going to add that value the i to the answer here okay and when this loop is complete you return that answer right so just imagine this is the doctor scheme right you can call that doctor skill or use that doctor skill within your computer within the house you can do that and you get the answer so you pass 10 and then you're going to have the answer from 1 to 10 i mean the total right you're going to get there the next thing you can do is you can expose this functionality to everyone right okay so how are we going to do that so if you want to expose this functionality to the world then http comes into the picture right http hypertext transfer protocol okay that's the full form so http protocols lets you transfer data from one place to another both way communication either you can send or you can receive data http lets you expose your algorithm right or your code to the world so you can use it right i mean if you build something nice if you, you have built something nice project right some anything like chat gpt now you expose to the world and that's how people makes money i mean the, the the developer right whoever develop you know they have the paid subscription to their chat gpt a lot of use cases right so that's the http protocol that's how you expose to the world so now we said we're going to use express right to to create the server and you know basically run our code in the server right and all that so let's see how we can do that so before that right before that we're going to talk about node i mean we understand node now right so what is npm now what is npm we we, we talk about node.js node.js is the basically the package right run in our computer to create a server and to do a lot more things right or basically to run the javascript code in your computer okay so npm what is npm now node package manager right npm is the default package manager for node.js npm is the default package manager for node.js why i say default because when you install node.js you you have npm installed or comes with that one okay you already have npm in your computer right so it allow developer to install share and manage dependency efficiently right now what is dependency the dependency is basically the software right or libraries or functions or functionality which depends on node.js okay so node.js is like a manager which allow you to manage right or basically manage your software 
any software which can run in Node.js, right? So if you can go back here and let's look at npm, right? npm package. So let's go to the website, the home npm, right? npm js, okay? So this website manages thousands of software, thousands of software, right? So how are you gonna use that? So I'll I'll just look for Express. I just search Express and it will give me the express right express validator so many things with the name express right but the first one here is the express i will just open that and see express the fast unopinated man, uh, minimalist web framework right so this is a web framework right for node.js so i call it earlier library right let's keep it to the framework library is something when a lot of frameworks put together right and make one complete software in itself like for example microsoft window you know it's kind of like a library like it has everything inside right not everything like you still install Wind, uh, word excel powerful separately right but still it's a complete kind of software okay so when software has a lot of things built inside already then that is a framework means moreover complete right can handle a lot of things by itself library sorry that is a library right the framework is something created for a special purpose okay just to do one thing right at a time not at a time but just do or to handle one for only one purpose okay for creating a server right or handling the http protocols you know for communication that is what we use express so how you install that the npm that is node package manager install express that's it that is all you have to do right so before that how you're gonna create project in node.js and how you you know initialize that and how you install the packages right or any libraries so three things how you create project how you initialize it and how you're gonna uh, how you gonna install right so let's do that one so what i will do i'm, clo I'm gonna close this uh, inside my nodes is here uh, yeah i'll just maybe add something let's see i'll just add project right let's call it uh, class one maybe so the thing is right you must open that folder okay inside the node.js class one right so i'm inside the uh, web development so i have to go cd uh, that is five dash right and then cd one dash that is node.js and then cd again one dash uh, sorry class right cd class okay see tab i will get that one so now i'm inside the class one see either you can do that just keep changing the directory until you reach to the right directory or what you can do is just go to the file open folder and from here i will go to node.js back in and uh, one is node.js and class one that right? i will just open that so when I do that, uh, it will give me the current directory, right? So in terminal, and here I'm directly in that directory class one. Okay. So first thing, what you're gonna do, right? npm in it, okay? In it, right? And enter. So it will ask you right it's gonna ask you okay i believe control plus plus let me make it big little bit <clears throat> so what i did i just put npm in it right because my i just created the project folder right uh class dash one that is the folder name but i don't have anything inside it's empty so in order to create any node.js project 
you have to initialize your project okay initialize right that is called getting ready to add the or to install any libraries okay so it will ask you project name right just call it uh, maybe what you can call it server right something like so or maybe project name class one you can leave it empty or you can give it any project name okay so we can say server not server what what would we write uh let's call it doctor doctor person one just enter description uh just call it node.js express enter entry point index js you can leave it like that it's okay enter test command nothing just enter enter right git repository we don't have yet keyword nothing author nothing so you want to type just make it enter enter and yes right all enter 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 okay you don't even if you don't put project names that's fine right what we get now here json look at this package json right package json what is package json this is the file this is a json format right the json means javascript object notation this is the object just the object you know when you're creating object the key does not need inside the quotation mark you don't need key as a quotation mark but to make it json right uh, you're gonna find even the key here in the quotation mark but it's just the object right object so what it has a script uh name version all that right about this project main is index.js so right now i don't have anything even i can change this right i can make it uh, let's call it maybe server or index you can leave it does not matter you can change this file so whatever is the main right you can add here that file so i have index i will make it index.js okay that is all now with this json right this is kind of like a the brain okay not brain but let's call it the main file right which keep tracks of all your dependency all your software you're going to install so for example i'm going to install now so it's ready now my, my project is initialized it's ready but you did npm init right npm init and done and it will just install this once you have package json you're good to go right so we're gonna install now the express so what was the command here npm install express this one you can click here copy right or you can just type it so i will just go ahead and type npm install either you can type install or you just put i right and express like that enter See? so but after installing the uh, express you get node modules what is node modules right so node modules you don't have to touch this one okay nothing right here are so many folders and files and all that never touch them, okay don't do that first let's look at here dependency right dependency means the package you install is express see now with this right once you have this ex this install you can send this your software anywhere right and you just have to do npm install and this will be ready to run it's going to install all the software you need to create this whole project simple so now you're thinking what is i mean this express is like a library right software build there are so many functionality inside already created okay to be used right and we'll see how we're going to use that so I, I i believe you remember right the modules how you created the modules and you can import export and all that we learned in the modules class in javascript similarly you're gonna you're gonna install the software the modules and you're gonna use it so every software you install you're gonna have record here right so let's say this one right when you have that one more thing you're gonna do is git ignore dot git ignore right like that 
git ignore i hope that is okay and then here you're gonna add uh node underscore module right module okay so what we uh, what this will do i mean we did this one also right during our html css setup when you have to do git init and then you add git ignore and all that this will ignore the node module because node modules is a large file right and you don't want to send that to your github okay you don't need right for example even if i delete this you know i want to delete that right done right now my express will not work because it does not have that uh, software installed here we have the library here right in our package json but you don't have the node module then it will not gonna work so let's say you copy clone somebody's software right from the github you're gonna get something like this once you clone the node software or node package right any program from the github first you're gonna do is npm install that is all you have to do right and it will install that express here and you will get your node module back that's it that's how it works right? good to go so it's time to create the first function now so what is that function let's create right function uh, calculate sum right that was the function it will take n and let answer equal to zero right now and i will say if uh, let i equal to one i is less than equal to n i plus plus and then you're gonna do so why is that i what is the error guys What is it? Uh, yeah, exactly. That's very good. Good guess. So that's why I'm. Uh, okay, so now we have the for loop, right? So we're gonna once you have this i, you just need to add this i here. This loop gonna if n is ten, this loop will run ten times, right? So every time it will change the value of i. First is one, it will go two, three, four, five, right? Until it hits 11. So i become 11, 11 is less than equal to n, that will become false and it will stop, right? If the value of n is 10, but n can have anything, right? So, so answers equal to answers plus i. And then I'm going to return uh, answer, right? Answer. So let's say this is the doctor, right? Doctor has a skill to cure the patient or to check the patient, right? Uh, this is one of your program, your logic, something you, you have the skill or functionality you build. Now, you can use this skill or functionality within in-house, okay? Like const uh, result equal to in-house, right? Within the house, you can use it. Calculate sum. And you pass maybe 20 like that, right? And console.log result. So if I call this function, I'm giving the value 20, the argument is 20, the parameter is n, so n equal to 20. And when you're calling this function, what will gonna happen? The cursor will go here, run this whole code, and give you back the answer. And that answer is stored in result. And I'm printing that console log, right? So if I do F5, uh, I should get the answer, right? So something like 210, 210, right? Look at that. Okay. So this is in house, in house, correct? Now, how I'm going to use this, right? How I, I'm going to expose this skill to the world now, to the everyone, right? But to expose something to the world, you know, you must. I mean, right now we cannot do right because 
it must be hosted in the amazon web service or one of the web server and then use call that one right or use that one you can do that but right now still you can create the local server and do the communication right send give some data and all that how are you going to do that so let's start right so to create a server first you have to call the express const express variable equal to require so you have to memorize this right express like that okay you remember how you import export similarly you importing right the express to your local to this uh, index.js file you just get the express from the node module here okay and then mm -hmm. you, you maybe create let's create here right uh, let's create here i will call it const now you're gonna create one variable called app equal to express express is a function just run that right that's it so express is a function you run that express what you get back i mean this function will give you back something right it's stored in the app so let's check now console dot log app i'm gonna check app and see what i get remember this this one line of code and here right this is all you have to do okay so if you run again the server uh, basically you know node.js right you just run that node index.js then you get this function look at here the app right the app has this is a fun uh, app is a function right it's a function and it has so many things built inside okay so i you know i don't see we don't get here everything you know it's just not giving all the details right but let's let's do this and see what we get back so it give error right for now just remember app is the object it is the object i need to put index html and then go to the browser and then we'll check that let's see if i can do that index.html and i will just connect that uh, script source index.js and i will open this so if i can i don't know i have never checked but let me try if this will give me the details right so it's just fail it did not run right it will not run that node express is basically for the local computer it will not run in the 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 object you're not going to see in the server right basically in the browser it, it, it's not going to give you in the browser require is not defined at index.js right but anyway yeah so it did not work let me close that we don't need so what we're gonna do is okay so just imagine this app is the object now right and then you know you you're gonna you, we are going to create server okay like for example app dot listen see because app is an object it has so many things built inside you're gonna find all, you know so many things right all these things okay all these properties inside the app object but i will say app dot listen and this will take two things okay the first one is port so the what is port now right so every computer has a port port is kind of address right where you're gonna make a connection okay so i will put here 3000 comma and then you can add call i mean you can add a function also right callback function here so to check if that is you know like if that is connected or not right so let's say console dot log and we call it uh server is running in port maybe 3000 let's write something like that. if this will go okay right 
when you call the uh, when you call your like local host 3000 it should give you this one okay this one right in the console fine so uh, let's see the next thing is we have to create the route now we don't have any route so how we create app dot So we're getting right. We, we we want to get something right. So let's call it get route, right? And then it will take also two things. First one is the route, like this is the root route. So I will explain what is root route just now, and then here you're gonna call the callback function. Okay. Uh, the function you can write normal function or just the arrow function. Right? It will take two things: request. And response parameter. We can talk about this also, okay? Just now, but for few seconds, let me. So once we have this right, you can send the data by adding like request is requesting something from the outside. Request response means sending the reply or response. So I will just send some in like simple thing, uh, maybe some string, right? So you are from root route let's see what i'm gonna get right so first i have to run this code right i have to run this index this i have to run the server so far or i just have to call this file right how you run node index dot yes because i'm inside that file a uh, folder inside that project I can run now, right? Node index.js and enter and see server is running in port 3000. Look at that. So once server is running, that means now my port is 3000, right? Now I'm listening to this page. So if I go back here and I will call localhost 3000 like this and enter, right? You are from root route. Look at that. So, you know, my server is running, right? My server is running, and I can communicate with this this uh, root route. If I put here, let's call it maybe uh, doctor, right? Doctor. So you are from uh, doctor route. Out, right? So I will get error if I refresh. I will get the uh, you know if I just click here. Uh, I don't know why it did not work. I have to run this server all the time. Yeah. So I have to cancel right, and because I have to cancel and run the server again. Control C, and we're gonna solve this also. Okay. So uh, again, node index dot js, and then if I refresh. I will get error right so this is the root route the slash is a root route but if i go back and call uh, doctor doctor right so you are from the doctor route look at that slash doctor is the route this one is root okay that is just the slash right but after slash is the route so you can go like about page slash about page uh, home page you know contact page all that that is a route okay but see this is listening already right now uh, what i want to show you is i mean we learned how to create the projects node.js initialize the projects we learn how to install we learn how to create this function uh, this function right i want to expose this functionality to the world now because this is just the in-house right i mean just here locally in my basically within that file or computer right but how you can expose this to the wall right that's the point so let's try now what let's say somebody right can give me the number from the browser just imagine somebody will give me the number from the browser right so i have to get that number so let n equal to request because it's getting from the browser so request uh, dot query right 
query this is the query parameter and we're gonna talk about more in tomorrow class more details right what is query parameter or how you're gonna get you know like data from the from the client whoever is using your your service right maybe they're gonna fill out the forms for example chat gpt you open the chat gpt you you type the question there right please give me the answer for this something okay and submit so that data will go to the chat gpt server and it's gonna do some work and find the answer and return you back right okay so request is getting data from the client whoever is using that uh, side and then uh, let's call it n for now right that will be the property in our query stream after that after that right i'm gonna const let's call this uh, answer maybe answer right let's call to uh, i will just call that uh, let's call this one because i have built this functionality here uh, we're just gonna call it right and we pass the n n so now this calculate some function is exposed to the browser right exposed to everyone just imagine that for now it's not everyone but this is there right so i can get the answer right so you are from dr routes and answer right that is fine whatever will be the answer i'm gonna display in the page right so yeah let's do uh i think that should be enough so because i added some code right i have to restart the server so npm not npm but node index.js and start now it will the server will just read through everything right in the so now i have to send so here right if i i get some error okay invalid status code server response uh, writer head something like that whatever the how you're going to write head and all that right? we're going to talk about this tomorrow uh so there is some error right because remember we are asking for data from the client this query right query string how are you going to pass query in string uh, basically you have to go back here and put this slash question mark and n right number equal to let's make it 30 right and enter and uh, so your you are from dr routes is work but i did not get the answer right i did not get the answer so let's see so i get the uh, request dot query n should be here so what is the error now right i might have to start again npm not npm node index dot stm sorry js right it's running so it should you know like uh, a response response dot send and this answer should be printed here right calculate some when you call that function I don't know why I did not. Maybe. Okay. Let me check right what I have done here. So I'm calling that on the top express. Yeah, that's the same thing, you know. but because because i'm calling this app here right uh, that will also affect okay so let me try this put it on the top here so it says express deprecated right uh, use rest of status okay so uh, express deprecated send method right okay so that is the problem here 
rest of status and then send body right instead so we can do so sometimes you know like they update um, this should work but they just update the code right so we just have to follow that send body let's see I just remove I mean there is a send rest use rest of status okay let's let me try it right race dot status and i will make it maybe success like 200 and dot send and then send that value right and and let's try again so i i must restart node index dot yes and if we go back localhost 3000 slash doctor right slash question mark and uh, let's see n equal to 40. this page did not work why So even this one is deprecated, right? So let me try. Oh, I should have tested this in. I did not test this. So rest dot send status. Now, if you re refresh this page and we get OK, right? So we get the status OK, but where is the data? You know, we want the data, right? That is OK. Send status. So we just get status, right? And we want the data, OK? So and send. I mean, it's, it's okay, right? Everything looks fine, but what is our value? That's the point. So let me remove this. Yeah, it's just not not giving the answer right i don't know why. I'll, let me figure this out and then we're going to talk about right but only thing what you guys are going to do now right is create the project basically read through all that right just read through that and then initialize the project solve this one install the express right and then create the route okay just create the route and try to send uh, the simple data right try to send the data because earlier when I had nothing, right, it was working perfectly. If I just do here, uh, this is doctor route, right? Anything. This is route. And let me run this. NPM run page. Oh, not 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 that one. Sorry, guys node 
index 30 years so if i go back you know just run that this is a route this is fine okay i mean we're getting the string right we're getting the string why not the variable if i just call this answer a and s i'm just surprised so it's just not working let me run it again node index.js and refresh so uh, yeah something is not correct console.log ans Okay, so we we getting also answer right. Uh, look at here, console log four six five. We get the answer. The only thing is my data is not passed to the browser, right? Uh, that is all. We we get the answer here, but data is not sent to the browser. And the and something saying this right. Send body and status right. So. Uh, okay, okay. It might be the the send the body and status here. So maybe something like this body, and then you can add a status right? status here. Let's make it two hundred. See what happens. And uh, node index.js and refresh okay so we we get the status it just give us back the route but our data did not pass it that's the problem we just did not get the data everything working but i'm just surprised why this thing is did not pass you know? <laughs> okay yeah you have the answer yeah so But it should it should send the number also, you know, just the number, right? Node index dot yes. and refresh. So it gives error, right? You cannot do that one unless you can change here. You know, like when you calculate, whatever you get the answer, right? And then convert that to string pass here. So whatever the answer, you, it's gonna convert to the string, and then you're gonna call that answer right? comma. But that is not the right way. Okay, I don't think that is the right way. Unless I will figure out. Don't worry. Index .js. I will just stop now and then let's try it the last time. Yeah, so it's just giving error okay guys let's stop here what you can do initialize the project let me figure out this answer and then i will explain it quickly but initialize the project you know whatever we have done so far in install the express create the server right add the uh, just add this listen to the code just send some simple string right some simple things and once that is success then only you're gonna do the uh this thing okay try to expose this one right but why did it work i will have answer for you
just now. Just give me a few minutes and then I'll do that. So let me stop here.